Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell with In Motion Real Estate Institute. Today I want to show you how to convert a table in Word to an Excel spreadsheet. I actually started a table in Word and realized mm, I really want it to be in Excel. So let me show you how to do that. It's quite easy. Here's the table that I did in Word. And I really want to do calculations on this table. So Word is not the best place for it. I have four columns and 17 rows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in this table and hit copy. Now you can also do control C. Then I go to Excel. We have a brand new workbook and I'm going to select the four columns and 17 rows and I'm going to right click and hit paste special. Now I'm actually going to select text and say OK. And there we go. That's the information that I had in the table in Word. Now, of course, I can beautify this and make it look a little prettier. For starters, let's say take format and select a column width. Let's go for about 22. And let's also wrap the text because I see that column D has a lot of wording going off to the right. To do that, I need to format cells. Select alignment select wrap text and say okay okay so you can do other things you can adjust your column if you want D to be a little wider you can do that or if you want to adjust the row dimensions just hit format and row height can be adjusted right there you can also do other things that you do typically in Excel let's bold those and hit center and for my purposes, let's go ahead and select auto sum so I can do a calculation there. Of course, I would like to see B1 added. So B1 through B16 gives me my total. And of course, I want that cell to be in currency. You may know how to do that already, but I'll just do it to complete this tutorial. Zero decimal places, say OK and I'm good to go. I highlight that total for me and that gives me a nice spreadsheet without having to copy the text over. I hope this tip helps you out. Feel free to comment and thanks for watching.